Well, tomorrow is a critical day for all Metro Detroit public school systems. It's count day when attendance will determine 90% of state funding for the school year. Our guy Gordon joins us now and nowhere are the stakes higher guy than in the city of Detroit. This is a very big year, a debt free year for the school system. We know that enrollment declines have been slowing for several years now, but this is the year they wanted to reverse them because they are getting a fresh start and they want parents to know, look, attendance matters every day, but especially tomorrow. Are we ready to start? Give me a thumbs up. Cook STEM Academy on the west side is already doing its part. Our enrollment is up about 20% this year. A lot of people in this particular neighborhood are eager for the school to be back up under local control, so they're, um, they're bringing their kids back. Tomorrow, each child represents $7,552 of state funding. And unlike last year, $1,100 will not be taken off the top to pay off school debt. And this is the first fall in many, many years that we're receiving our full per pupil funding. So we want to make sure that all of the kids who are attending DPSCD schools are in school tomorrow, counted, so that we will get all of the funding that's coming to us this year. The district has set its budget conservatively, already anticipating a 1.8% enrollment decline. So the goal is to hit 45,500 students. It's averaging 800 fewer students, but hopes with reminders, free breakfast, pizza parties for classes with 100% attendance, and gift card drawings, they will make budget. How confident am I that we'll meet that goal tomorrow? All I can say is uh, we, are, we know that everyone is working very, very hard to provide excellent teaching and learning environments in all of our schools. That's all that I can ask. And that's what she wants everybody to focus on. But there are all these external things. We know that uh, the district is still short 200 teachers. That's about two teachers per building. We know there has been this fraud scandal. We also know that there's a specter of more school closings after the state announced it last week. And with all of that going on, she's hoped that won't detract parents from being here. They have 48,000 kids technically on the rolls. If they can get 95% of that to show, they will meet their goal and will be on a much sounder financial footing going forward. We're live from Cody High, where, by the way, unfortunately, they sprung a leak here during the rains. No. Another elementary school as well, Carmen. It's one of the, cha the challenges that they just keep facing because yeah. they didn't get the 50 million that they needed at the time. So Boy. a lot of stuff they're trying to work through, but they don't want any of that to detract from what's going on inside the classroom. All right, a lot at stake here. Let's hope they get full attendance tomorrow. Thank you, Guy.